Hi and good evening. It is Thursday night, so of course, I know you're all getting used to seeing me. So like every night, maybe I'll just do something every night. Just kidding. Um, okay, so it is Thursday night, Facebook Live, where it's based on real life, on the real life edition. And tonight I chose, we were supposed to have a special guest. Um, and bless her heart, she's got some family stuff going on. So we're going to reschedule her for next week. It'll be great. Um, it's going to be a great topic, so you won't want to miss that. But for tonight, we're going to talk about stress because, you know, that's something that everybody goes through. Um, you know, and, and one of the things that I've heard recently, um, you know, people talk about all the stressful things that are going on in their lives um, and, and how they respond to it. and, and there's a lot of downsides to that. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about um, why technically stressing out is a choice. Now, before you start yelling at me and telling me what you think about that and saying, Melissa, you're crazy. I, I didn't choose to be stressed. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about that and say why it is that it is really truly a choice. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what stress is. Obviously, stress is one of those um, issues. It's a physical response to things that are going on in your life. It can have a little bit of um, emotional and, and mental um, side to it. But in general, for the most part, it's going to be more of a physical response. Um, and of course, stress, it, some stress is necessary. You know, stress is what keeps us on our toes. Um, and our body's response to that is really important. You know, in general, um, way back when our ancestors, they dealt with stress, it was kind of a fight or flight, um, saving themselves. Hello, Marilyn, hello, Rob. Um, but these days, you know, stress comes so frequently and it actually becomes kind of chronic, um, which is not good for our bodies or our mental state. So let's talk about physically all of the downsides <clears throat> to what stress can do for us. And of course, I'm talking about anything. It can be everything from, you know, really struggling to be able to pay the bills to, you know, having an illness in the family or a child that's struggling. You know, it comes in a lot of forms, but here's what happens when we consistently are bombarded with stress and we choose to kind of internalize it. Um, there's definitely some physical I issues that come from that. So, <clears throat> you know, your whole body will respond to it. Some of the things that happen, um, headaches, you know, which I don't know about you, but that's not something that I enjoy having on a regular basis. Um, mu muscle tension. Um, for those of us that are a little bit older and we've kind of dealt with some stress and we tend to internalize it in certain muscle groups of our body. Um, for me, it tends to be in my neck area. I definitely have some issues um, neck and back. And so uh, that's a, a muscle response. As soon as I start to feel stress, this area of my body tends to tense up quite, <clears throat> quite a bit. So panic attacks, anxiety, um, you know, of course, you know, racing of the heart, um, feeling, you know, really anxious. Um, that's a response. Um, this one's pretty important. I've actually known some people who've had um, what they call adrenal fatigue or even adrenal failure. It's literally when your body has no more response to that. Um, no more epi oh, I can't even think of the words tonight. It's definitely Thursday. Um, your body, the hormone that is your body's response to stress. Um, at some point, you know, your body just wears out. It's kind of wear and tear on the body when that stress is pretty consistent. Um, your body can actually stop producing all the hormones that it's that are responsible for um, keeping you level, um, and that's that's a rough one. So, you know, when people are really stressed for long periods of time, you know, you can be. <clears throat> Um, you know, your doctor can tell you that that's something that, that can happen. Um, cortisol release. You've probably seen all the stupid commercials on TV that talk about, you know, cortisol causes belly fat, um, which technically it can and, and does. Um, you just can't solve it with a stupid pill. Um, but cortisol is your body. That is your body's response to stress. Um, it also is what helps you to wake up in the morning, actually. So your body needs a certain amount of that. Um, but when it's consistently, um, being, you know, dealing with stress, um, your body releases cortisol. And again, at some point uh, it can't handle it anymore. <clears throat> um, and so above and beyond that, when you are stressed, you tend to have sugar cravings because your body is trying to, um, somehow get a, um, a, a comfort response, uh, you know, a round of, um, wow, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really struggling with words tonight. Maybe it's bedtime. Uh, so the, the body's response, um, that feel good, that feel good, um, response to um, what you eat. So sugar can cause that. Uh, and that, when people are constantly under stress and tend to eat a lot of sugary or comfort foods, that's when the weight gain starts to come in. So that can be a really um, serious issue when we're not paying attention to that. <clears throat> so, um, speaking of yourself, I think. not quite sure what that means, but I think it's a thank you. Um, also, other things that can happen from stress, heartburn, um, and again, that can also come from your body's response with uh, um, the acids in your body getting kind of a little bit out of whack. Um, again, when you're stressed, it's a full body response. And so 
it's not just one or two things that can happen. You should be paying attention to how you feel um, physically, what your body's doing. It, it will tell you that there's a problem. Um, ulcers is a big one. Um, you know, that feeling of tightness and, and pain in your stomach area and your um, digestive, um, it can affect your digest your digestion. You can struggle. I hate to say it, here's some real life. I mean, you can get constipated. Um, you might be the opposite end of things. Your body does respond to this. Um, it can also be a problem with fertility, both men and women. Um, if you're struggling to get pregnant, stress plays a huge role in preventing you from, from working with that because again, when your hormones get off a little bit and your body has that tension, um, that's a response. Decreased immune system. Yeah, you know, when especially Many of us, not only are we stressed, but then we struggle with things like getting enough sleep um, so that our body can bounce back and rest and recover. And so on top of everything else, um, you know, your immune system is down, you get sick easier, um, you know, that does happen. Um, a decreased libido, sorry, that is part of the issues. Um, okay, Angie is stressing out over legs tonight. I'm with you, girl, because I'm gonna be there. So, um, and thank you to, I think it's Med Fitness says I have nice biceps, I appreciate that. Mm -mm. Um, anyhow, back to the topic at hand. Um, you know, decreased libido, that's, that's not fabulous. So, you know, who wants to deal with that? Um, and a big one, how about fatigue? Or just even struggling to get through the day, lack of energy. Um, you know, it wears you out. So, physically, stress can be a huge issue. Oh, also increased blood pressure and hypertension. Um, you know, there's a lot of illnesses and diseases that we deal with today that this is just going to cause more and more issues. So confessions, it's Thursday night. Um, I'm gonna confess a little bit that, you know, there are definitely times, you can ask my family, where I really struggle with stress. I tend to, first of all, take on a lot. Um, because I like to be busy, I like to accomplish things, I love the sense of accomplishment. So I tend to take on a lot, at, at, um, too much, too many things all at the same time, and so I can get very easily overwhelmed with that. And on top of that, because I am a perfectionist and a control freak, um, yeah, I really struggle with not stressing out over things. Sometimes things that don't even, they're not even a big deal, but I tend to really kind of get out of hand with um, my response to that. So that's my confessions. Um, yeah, I had somebody ask me today, what one of my weaknesses are, what, what somebody else would say one of my weaknesses are, and that was one that I really tend to get to the point where I get overwhelmed easily, especially if I am not, um, it's not my strength. Um, so, you know, why take on a project and try to do everything when there's other people that can actually help us with that because that's their expertise. That's how I get stressed out, is I tend to not, uh, I'm not always willing to delegate um, because I, I struggle a little bit with that. So again, I know what it feels like to be stressed out. Um, I tend to internalize a lot of things and so I can really get to that point. So here's my tips, okay? First of all, I really do believe that being stressed out is a choice. Stress is part of life, I understand that. But what I mean by being stressed out is a choice. There are certain things that nobody can change for you, right? First of all, you know, you can't, you personally may not be able to change what happens to you, but you can choose how you respond. Um, I have an example. Um, there was a great article on stress.org that I read today, um, and they talked a little bit about, it's kind of like multiple people getting on a roller coaster, okay? So, you know, you get a group of people that get on a roller coaster, they might all have different responses to that roller coaster. They may be like me. I love a good roller coaster. Now, my body won't really allow me to do that anymore um, but I love it I, to me it's thrilling I love that feel of the drop my stomach love it you might have somebody that gets on there and they are scared to death they they don't like the ups and downs they maybe get maybe they get sick they may get motion sickness they're really the opposite ends of the spectrum so for me the stress is that it's just more fun I like that that feeling that excitement to me it's excitement not necessarily stress to someone else that roller coaster ride may be devastating it may be scary it's not for them they don't enjoy that thrill and then maybe you have somebody that's middle of the line they're kind of like eh, you know what as a roller coaster big whoop um, different people respond differently to different stresses right so in some instances when you have a stress come along you are the one that gets to choose how you respond to that so for instance you know somebody dings the side of your car right you can choose to get all upset over it get out of your car, yell, swear at them, call them stupid names, whatever, that might be your response. Or 
for somebody who's a little more laid back or because you're just you've practiced this a little more experience in life you may choose to kind of respond with a okay well you know what we need to fix it give me your name what's your you know get their information take care of it in a way that is obviously a little more adult and um, less emotional um, so again we all have a choice how we respond to that now I want to take that a step further because um, some super super nice person I meet people all over the place and I love it um, because of course I love people um, and we were talking about a little bit about the choices that um, they were making in their life at the moment starting they were building a house um, you know and had some things going on with the kids to some degree there are certain things that we've chosen you know it drives me crazy when somebody comes and says okay well I can't do that because this is my job or you know I'm really stressed out by my job but I don't have a choice okay no 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 no. you know I get it I get it especially when you have a good job it pays well you know you're providing for your family but only you can make that decision whether or not you stay at that job guys there's got to be other jobs there's got to be other choices um, you know yes I understand I, I understand I do understand why you stay there but nobody can change that stress for you but you right just as you have to make that determination whether or not all those issues in your life that are causing you stress are really stressing you out yeah there's gonna be some stress that's life you can't really know the positive and the fun amount of life if you don't know the dark side and the pain and the frustration but it's your choice whether or not you internalize that and and make it a really rough situation so um, that's kind of my point so some tips for dealing with stress um, you know one of the multiple um, articles that I read today talked about starting a stress journal which I've never even heard of and I've never thought of before but it really talked about being able to get your feelings down and how you're responding to it and what's causing you stress which I really like because when I talk about emotional eating I actually talk about journaling your triggers and what's what starts that what what gets you off on a binge of emotional eating well why can't you do that with stress finding out what those stressors are so that at some point you can make some other choices and how you respond to that thought that was a very smart idea it might sound silly but honestly what else has worked for you why not try it and see if that works um, some other options totally find a good stress release to be honest I'm gonna tell you some of my best stress releases punching bag right not a person I didn't say punching a person right a punching bag um, lifting going for a walk or a run meditation take a hot bubble bath whatever it is that needs to calm your nerves and calm you down right and we all know what that feels like that racing of the heart and just uh, you know find something that calms you down it might be somebody at work has really just annoyed you and you can't stand them and you really want to tell them what you think probably smarter to calm down first so find a stress release find something that works for you that calms you down you know it just regular exercise and eating well is gonna help you with dealing with stress if you're eating a bunch of garbage and your body doesn't know how to respond and so it's not at its optimum level anyway what do you think is gonna happen incorporating those things into your life is gonna make things a whole lot easier and a whole lot better when you do deal with stress put down the technology okay sometimes you need to tune out turn it off put it away go somewhere else spend some time with your family spend some time with things that aren't technology related I think sometimes we forget that there was once a time when we didn't have a cell phone to just do everything through so you might just put it away find a way to kind of calm down and release that work on being positive guys you're either positive or you're negative you cannot be both at the same time you just can't there it does not coexist in the same space you cannot be positive and negative at the same time work on figuring out how to put a positive spin on everything you all know that person that's always in a good mood doesn't matter what happens they're like they're just great learn how to be that person not saying that you can't feel you know situations and emotion and, and what the effects of you know the stress in your life but it doesn't have to a affect everybody else around you and B it doesn't have to stay in your space find a way to be positive uh, get enough sleep I'm on a roll with this one guys you know what I already know that this is my issue I have really been working to track my own sleep and make sure I'm getting enough sleep because if you aren't getting the rest and recovery that you need and I'm even just talking from life I'm not even talking about exercise I'm just talking life here guys how can you function you know you don't get enough sleep so your body has no way to recharge it's super important to get that sleep right um, especially if you are ill 
I know people, and I tend to be one of them, that when I get sick, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna push through this. I'm still gonna go work out. I'm still gonna do my job. Yeah, first of all, don't get other people sick. That's not very nice. But secondly, you can't heal, right? You can't heal if you are not getting the rest that you need, which of course causes your body stress, okay? Um, find some relaxation techniques. You know, I, I always joke that I only know a couple of ways to relax. <laughs> um, and one used to be a massage until I started getting deep tissue massages for the lovely muscle tension that I have. I'm not gonna say that that's exactly relaxing anymore. Um, I've cried a few times while getting a deep tissue massage, but in general, I have in the past used massage as a relaxation technique. Meditation is a great option, slowing your mind down, slowing your body down. Um, time off, time off work, time off, you know, sometimes we just need a break or even to an extension, a vacation. Um, that is, can be super, I've talked about that a couple of times about how you need to take time off and that's really important. Um, another one, learn to manage your time. How often are you stressed out because you've planned too many things in the day or not giving you enough, yourself enough space or just haven't timed things correctly and so now you're stressed out because you're trying to be too many places at the same time. I tend to do that. So that's, learn to manage your time. Also, learn to say no. You know, when I was younger, I, yeah, sure, okay, yeah, I can do that, yeah, I can do that. I don't do that anymore. Do I do as much as I possibly think I can? Yeah, I, I like to be busy, I like to help people, I like to be part of that, but I've also learned when it's appropriate to say no, right? Um, and then also, last but not least, if you are really struggling, if you are really so stressed out that you can't function, that you are having anxiety or even depression, please talk to a professional. You know, there's no reason for you to stay there. And if you can't help yourself out, you need to use the tools that are there for you to get where you need to be, right? Um, you know, I know that there's a lot of information and a lot of people posting on um, suicide awareness, bullying, and a lot of things that are out there that can, we people wanna help. People want you to know that we care. Reach up, reach out. Find somebody that can help you, whether it's a friend, a professional, do what it takes. We want you to be happy. You know, I talk about this every week that we were put on this earth to be happy and to help each other. And that's what that's what's important. So make sure that you do reach out when you need that help. So hopefully I've helped a little bit. Um, sometimes I grab some ideas that are slightly controversial. I didn't think that tonight was slightly, you know very controversial, but I did want people to think, what? She thinks I don't have to be stressed? No, I don't think you have to be stressed out. So hopefully you got something from that. Um, you know, it, enjoy life. It's here. You only get to live once. It can be an adventure. So let's all do that together. Have an incredible evening and stay warm, guys.